Hello. <laughs> hey everyone and thank you for tuning in to Where's Neva. I am in Nairobi, Kenya. Oh, it's so hot out here. My name is Rachel. I'm from Kenya. And what do you like doing? What do you do for a living? Oh, I'm a consultant. I always say that I'm a consultant because I do a lot of stuff. So I'm just a consultant. I do a lot in business. I'm also a stylist. Mm. Right, we'll talk yeah. about it later. Yeah. All right, my beautiful lady. Okay, my name is Doreen. I'm just graduated from college. I'm a, an engineer by training. And yeah, I just started my practice. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. So today, ladies, we are going to about talk about how people come to Africa and feel like they just need to save the world. They need to put on this cape and be superwoman or superman and how that needs to end, you know? Yeah. So I really want to hear from you all before I discuss how I feel about it. Um so yes, let's open up this conversation and yeah. whoever wants to start, you can start. Okay, you can, you can start. So I, I think actually Africa is beautiful. And when personally I look at Africa, we have so many beautiful things that are not we, we don't have out there. Um, people, people, when you hear about Africa and you've never been there, you, you miss out on the beautiful things you have because the international media has so much focused on the negative things in Africa that people out there don't know what is beautiful in Africa. So until you're in Africa, you cannot really figure out what we have on this side. Right, 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 right. So, so I think the the main problem we have why why people think that Africa is all about poverty, uh, there are diseases and stuff, all that is because of the international media. It it talks so much on the negative things in Africa and the positive. So I, I think if we focus more on what is good in Africa, and people they'll be. Happy yeah. to come here, learn, and see Africa. Right, right, right. right. Travel and experience it. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, talking from experience, just being an African American. And my first time was three years ago when I was going to Tanzania. Um, I know when I told my friends and family, this is going to sound sad and bad, but I'm going to be truthful and honest. Um, a lot of people were like, oh, don't catch Ebola or be careful or, you know, the crime rate. Oh, have you watched what's on TV? What are you going to even do in Africa, right? And so all those comments and those opinions didn't deter me away from the experience because I always knew I had a dream to go to Africa. You know, we were ripped from <laughs> our roots, you know, we, mm -hmm. our ancestors, American, African Americans were taken from Africa and brought to America. And I was like, I have to visit. Like as a child, I watched a lot of documentaries about this and it's like, I have to see, right? Coming here is, or being that I came the last time is the reason why I'm here today, right? I'm back and I'm here for a long period of time because I had such a ball. I met this beautiful lady and now I met this beautiful lady and I loved it. I mean, the hospitality, just, everything i mean africa is more than just the animals <laughs> we got to talk about that too right and as we have to talk about just the poverty yes there's poverty here but there's poverty everywhere yeah. you know being from america it's like being from seattle is this homelessness it's, if you go downtown seattle you see a whole bunch of homeless people right people who experience homeless you go just to oregon you'll see exactly the same thing, but we don't talk about that. Everybody wants to come here and feel like they need to put on their superhero cape yeah. and run away from home. But that's not the case. There's beaches here, yeah. you know, and there's beautiful women <laughs> and, there's, and some fine men, but <laughs> we're not going to talk about that. But just, what do you have to say, Rachel, about it? What I can say is that, uh, first of all, <clears throat> we need to understand that there's nowhere, there's no disease. There's nowhere, there's no hunger, mm. there's nowhere, there's no uh, terrorists right. or theft. Right. All these negative stuff are everywhere. So another thing we need to know is that um, most of, okay, in, in history, mm -hmm. we've learned about developed countries mm. and undeveloped countries. Mm -hmm. The only thing about 
uh, the people staying abroad is that they are staying in a developed country right. whereby a lot of people are privileged mm. and as we are developing mm. so you get a lot of like a lot of percentage of uh, families cannot really sustain themselves mm -hmm. so they have to do something to sustain themselves and most of our institutions that handle these cases of uh, poverty hunger they usually like cry out for mm. uh, for sponsorship and so when these guys come here to help us they take the documentary back mm. so people think that the docu like the places because you know these places are remote really remote areas where you cannot myself i've never been so like very remote areas where they go where we don't have houses they still tradition like these people still follow tradition right, right. yeah there are no hospitals like the, it's just remote right. so when they go there and they take the documentary back then people judge it according to the documentary. Right, right. Yeah, of that small area. And they think that's what we have. Yeah, Africa and they think that is what Africa is. Right, right. And also, talking like though you've said, like, so you were asked, like, you were told that to be careful about Ebola. Ebola was not in Kenya or it was not in Tanzania, it was in um, this Western country, uh, Libya. Was it, Libya? it was in Libya. Yeah. And it's something that uh, developed from there. And what people are trying to do is to uh, control Ebola for not uh, mm, spreading to other countries, you know, yeah. because it was something that was really spreading. Right, but right. then now we don't have it because already it's right. gone, you right, know. Right. So um, the only thing people should focus is in just coming and experiencing the real Africa because mm -hmm. I have a lot of friends coming like you mm -hmm. I have a lot of other friends coming in and also the families even they don't understand when they they, they tell them that I'm dating somebody from Africa mm -hmm. because they'll be like how are, are they poor you know <laughs> those kind of stuff which right. is really bad it makes us feel so bad I bet you I see? bet I bet like just imagine someone calling your home you know as in being something negative or something dark and what saddens me so much is because there's so many black folks here mm -hmm. right and we put a negative like <laughs> this negative view on a black country mm -hmm. right and when we think of europe europe we don't put that view and it's, it's time to change it it's yeah, time sure. to change it it's time for people to see africa for what it is Sure. And to see the beautiful people, most importantly, stop coming just for the animals, the beautiful people, the beautiful animals, the beautiful beaches, the beautiful land, the beautiful houses. What? I've never been somewhere that someone and people just love me. They call me Dada all the time, yeah. you know? I felt like home without even knowing my home. So it's just like, tell people it's time, yeah. right? It's time and, to heal. There's another thing that um, usually make people portray like this fact most of our African ladies mm. or men, they go outside there to search for job. Mm. Because in Africa, we are educated, yeah? But jobs are scarce. Mm. Same to because everywhere. Because we are developing. Yeah, we are developing. Yeah. But so jobs are scarce. Mm. Same to everywhere. So we don't care what we do for a living. Mm. So if you see an African lady or man there being your house help, don't think that they're poor that's why they mm. want to take care of you right and brush your toilet right they just want to earn something for a living mm. and when you come back here you get that they can even do it here as well right but, but we, we, we don't have all these homes to take care of right. people don't people cannot uh, be in a position to pay uh, you the kind of money you can get abroad when you're working uh, like a house up to somebody you understand right, right. and there's one thing they should focus in somebody who is ready to to stay with a new um, in a new environment with new people from different race mm. it's love love they risk it because they don't know what you people think about them mm. so what you need to do is you need to love them because you leave their kids with you right. leave your kids with them right you understand right. so, so I want need to get it right I want to make note of what you said so you said that people need to understand that they're not, it's not that they're uneducated, no. it's that the job, the jobs are here are scarce, yeah. right? Yeah. It's not that they're uneducated. They're very educated. They're they very, know multiple they languages. They degrees. What? They multiple languages. Masters. Right, right. We don't talk about that. It's not that they're not uneducated, it's that jobs are scarce. Yeah. So 
what is it that or what can people do to like help with jobs is that something that we can do or is that something that africa itself needs to do like what how can that like okay it's so it's so hard to like uh uh, like provide jobs for mm. like even if you say we want to do something mm -hmm. it's so hard because i believe that even people i work in tanzania right. but everything is so hard for me to work there because you need the you need a work permit you need uh you need residential permit right, right. is everyone ready to offer that work permit and residential permit because the cost also right is high you right. understand so even if we want to um like to tackle something like that, it's not easy. The only thing we can say is that whoever is struggling to earn something somewhere, mm. even if it's outside the country, doing anything, let us respect them. Right. There are a lot respect. of people. There are a lot of people sweeping the streets, and you think that, like you, you see, like an old lady sweeping the street, and you think that this person is so dirty, or maybe. He, she's, he or she is so poor, why is she sweeping the street or why is she taking care of the toilet, you know? We have a lot of public toilets, somebody is seated there taking care, like cleaning the toilet and giving you tissues when you go in. Right. It doesn't mean that they, like, they want to do that. Mm. No. We just respect them respect, and their job love. and just show love. Right, right. And support them. Right. So yeah. being that you just graduated, how do you feel with, is it hard finding a job? Are you working? Like, if you don't mind me asking. I don't mind. Okay. It's very hard finding a job in Kenya. And in Africa, that is a problem in Africa. Actually, uh, the statistics I get from the internet or anything to go by, in in Nigeria, a country like Nigeria, we have so many learned people with no jobs. Mm. So that you find that someone who's gone to school has a degree is somewhere selling vegetables on the street. Mm. Like you, it's well, it's something that brings food to the table, but it's not a decent. Well, they feel like it's not something decent for their level of education. Exactly. So exactly. they want to do something more decent, right. but they don't have those opportunities. Right. Yeah, I think in most countries in Africa, are trying to 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 solve the unemployment problem. Well, maybe I think in Kenya we have a vision twenty thirty. Mm. A vision twenty thirty will ensure that we solve this problem we have, and so that there will be a solution. But we don't we don't have an immediate solution. Mm. It cannot be next year. It cannot yeah. be. It ha it takes time. It will take exactly. time. Exactly. And being a developing continent, I I feel like that is what will go on in Africa. Exactly. But it will take time to solve the unemployment problem, since we we'll have to achieve that vision right. to have that problem solved. We have right. to be an industrialized yeah. continent yeah. to have people work. Mm. To, to give people opportunities in the industry because yeah. we are depending on imports imports, imports we, yeah. we, we import technically everything mm. we, from a very simple thing that can be done in africa so we achieve that level of industrialization where we can manufacture most of the things we use yeah. then we we have jobs for people our economies will do well but that is not immediate it's going to be in the long run maybe if it's our grandchildren and people will um, and other generations that will benefit from that, but for them, for the rest of us, we, we there, are, there are jobs, yes, but there are no, there are no jobs for everyone, mm, so it really yeah. is a problem. Okay, yeah. that is beautiful. Thank yeah. you all for sharing your You're knowledge, welcome. and yes, yeah, so to sum it all up, don't come to Africa thinking you're about to save the day actually experienced Africa. I am very appreciative of being able to live with locals like a local. And I know a lot of people may not have that experience. However, when you do come out here, respect everyone, show love, spread love, and enjoy Africa for what Africa is. And also remember that Africa is rich with so much minerals and people and animals and just Exactly. I, I feel like um, we, we don't have, people don't know that Africa has all those minerals. People don't know we mine diamonds in West Africa. People don't know we have Tanzanites in Tanzania. Those are high value minerals. Right. And no one, people, people don't, are not aware. When they think of Africa, they think of one thing poverty, mm. unemployment. 
uh, disease and, and everything. But if you have to do more to ensure that people know what Africa has. Right, right. There's so many beautiful things. But the thing is, so if people do like find when people find out, because I'm definitely gonna post it. But when people start finding out about all these minerals, mm -hmm. do you think people are going to take it like they're doing now? They take do. and then import and push it they to still. other people meaning it's still not jobs for africa exactly and so they're pushing they're it for exported. other countries they're exactly. actually exported most of these minerals most of are this exported. yeah they're still buying it abroad and, and i think it still narrows down to industry that mm. locally we don't have the capacity to make use of all those minerals yeah. locally and then we the cost of maybe making a new some finished product probably it's need to be yeah. fine, yeah. Right, yeah. Right. yeah, it needs to be to go through processes to become a finished and so we export it instead of using it locally, which will solve many other problems we've done locally. Yeah. Right. Uh, recently we discovered oil in our country, yeah. Kenya. Yeah. But we cannot we we export it and then import it mm. we export it to an external um, to external to the external market and then import it for use because we cannot refine it locally right 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 we're rich we africa have. is rich africa is beautiful we have beautiful people like i just want to like i, I what I, I know is that if people really want to because we cannot change this which is a fact that mm -hmm. abroad it's developed. Mm. developed. It yeah. is. It is very developed. And Africa is developing. It's developing. So, so the only way we need to continue developing is by getting support. Mm, getting support. Support and how though? Yeah, but even them coming visiting, and you see, we have around. so many tourist attraction sites. If mm. you promote our tourism, you promote our economy. Our economy. Mm. So if you come visit our country, visit our tourist att attraction sites and stuff like that. And that's you're bringing jobs and bringing money. Yeah. And you're bringing jobs even to the tourism industry, to yeah. the economy. Yeah. You develop the economy. Exactly. The economy. So visit Africa and experience this beautiful world, right? Yeah. All right. Thank you all once again. You're and welcome. We will see you later. <laughs>